There are sounds coming from that room. Not the wall next door, not outside. That room. Oh my god. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. What'd you hear? Dude, I can't with this place. It just got so cool right there. The building's kind of coming to life. Spokane, a place that I love very, very, very much. And by the way, I'll explain why this looks like a scene from Blair Witch in just a moment. Okay, we'll get there. So I love Spokane because, <laughs> because my entire family lives here. And I just barely got into town and I'm here right now for my niece's high school graduation. It was an incredibly last minute trip that I had four months to prepare for, but since I'm me, I completely forgot about it until last night when I was in Los Angeles and my mom text messaged me and said, honey, when are you getting in tomorrow? So I absolutely panicked and uh, grabbed my camera and my, my backpack here, which has nothing in it, I am so not prepared, uh, and hopped on the next flight. Okay, oh Jesus, it is getting very dark and I'm in the middle of the woods, I need to stop walking for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Oop, almost fell to my actual death there. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have killed me, for sure. All right, I think I'm lost. Anyways, getting a flight that last minute it was five hundred and twenty seven dollars and I'll tell you what being a little bit dumb is incredibly expensive <laughs> uh oh <laughs> found a car door <laughs> oops daisies so here I am right now in beautiful Spokane Washington where my uncle has a stunning house right on the Spokane River oh I love it and you know my dad even has an Airbnb here where my friend Andrew Swicky and I have spent a lot of time almost all of 2020 and hey as some of you might know yes right here in Spokane I even have my own apartment that's that's right, as I walk through the empty woods right now, there is a full apartment that I own that has a shower, air conditioning, absolutely everything that I need. And the keys for it are right here in my hand. And it's just about eight miles from here. I could get there easily. I have a rental car. So right now you might be wondering, well, why aren't you there right now at any of those places that you just mentioned? Why am I in the middle of the woods right now, slightly cold, very scared, and holding a completely frozen burrito that I bought at a gas station? <laughs> yeah, way too frozen to eat. That was a mistake. <laughs> That's for the animals now. Because one, there's no room at my uncle's house. There's like 15 people staying there, all family, so no place to sleep there. And two, my dad's Airbnb is completely booked. So I told my family, hey, don't worry about me. You know, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll go stay at my apartment. But here's the thing. I know better than to try to do that. I know better than to try to stay in that apartment alone because seemingly not only is the actual apartment probably the most haunted place I've ever been, but it also seems to sit over a basement that is like the portal to some form of hell. Whoa, whoa. It is the worst place imaginable to try to go to alone. What was actually that? That was literally the scariest thing I've ever in my life. And I'm not proud of this, but I have been in that place twice since I have owned it. Twice. Once for the video. I bought a haunted apartment where I'm basically discovering it and exploring it for the first time ever. That was terrifying enough. And then a second time when I was in town a few months ago and I tried to go in there alone to try to decorate it with some stuff that I had found at a thrift store. I had the intention of staying there that time too to try to get used to this place. It did not go well. Dude, I'm gonna leave. I forgot things just walk around in here.
you just have to sit here and accept like these sounds. Okay. I don't know if you hear this as clearly as I do. It sounds like someone is trying to open the closet door in the bedroom. Dude, it sounds like someone is... Oh my God. There are sounds coming from that room. Not the wall next door, not outside. That room. Um. I'm not, I'm sorry, I can't even see myself. I don't even know if the camera's filming me right now. Did you hear, that is literally like a closet, the, 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 the uh, handle. It was awful. I think I dropped the stuff in there and lasted about three minutes before I dipped. Now listen, being in that apartment with another grown man was terrifying, but being alone in it was hell. It was impossible. Trying to be alone in a room where I saw a chandelier get pushed by an unseen entity? <laughs> no, that's a hard pass for me. Why is the chandelier literally moving right now? Put the light on that. Is it really? Is that, the it, that is moving. Dude, no, 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 no. <sighs> so that's right. I, like a complete coward with my tail between my legs, completely lied to my family and said, oh, don't worry about me. I'll just go stay in the apartment tonight. And that is where they think that I am at this very moment. But I am not because instead I snuck out to some old uh, property that my family owns where luckily for me, there is an abandoned <laughs> ancient trailer that I've slept in before and plan on sleeping in again tonight. And oh my God, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. Ain't she beautiful? Oh, <laughs> it's open. That's not a great sign. <laughs> Hello, are there any serial killers in there? <laughs> you can't lie to me. You legally have to tell me if you're a serial killer and you're in here. <laughs> I'll be furious if you're in here and you, and if you're in here and you kill me with a knife. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> It seems empty. <laughs> oh god, is there food in there? Oh no. A vacuum? <gasps> I'm so glad I found bear spray. I won't use it on a bear though, I'd rather not. I think I'd get along pretty well with a bear. Do you understand? <laughs> if someone stabbed me in the back right now. <laughs> this is still better than the apartment by a long shot. Did you hear that? In this trailer. <laughs> God. But unfortunately, I do have to go to the apartment alone, technically speaking, at some point, and I'll tell you about that later. As for now, I'm just gonna get my stuff and get nice and cozy <laughs> in this safe little not scary place. Uh, oh God, a snake's gonna bite my ass, I know it. If there's a tarantula in here, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, <laughs> I'm fine. Because I'm brave, I'm good. <clears throat> just give me a moment. Something is dripping on my head from the ceiling and I don't know what it is and it's a brown color and also I heard just what I know to be a mountain lion and then there was a little bump against the trailer. It's fine. Be brave boy, Garrett. <laughs> don't I look brave? Oh. <laughs> so maybe, in theory, a new plan is that my uncle's place that I love, uh, the one on by the river, is all locked up right now because it's getting close to midnight. And sure, there's no place to s sleep in there because of all the family that's in town, but I do technically know the code to get into their garage. So I suppose there is a world where I could like <laughs> go get some chicken nuggets from McDonald's and try to sleep in there, where at least I wouldn't have to worry about getting bit in half by a snake or an anaconda or a tarantula. <laughs> sell them off. But no, I can do this. I'm gonna stay right here. No need to get McDonald's and flee to my uncle's house. I'm brave. I got this. I'll just go to bed right now. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm brave. Hi, can I do a 20-piece uh, chicken nugget, please? Can you stop? Yeah, barbecue would be great. Thank you so much. Anything else for you today? Yeah, um, can I do a 10-piece chicken nugget? As well? Sure. Oh, would you look at that? It's Grimace's birthday. What a fun surprise. <laughs> oh God, I love chicken nuggets. Mm. Okay, listen. <laughs> Good or heartbreaking news, depending on like what kind of person you are, but I was able to access my uncle's garage. Oh, thank God. 
and I found this wonderful little storage nook. Hmm, look at that, look at that little patch of concrete back there. I'll find something to use as a pillow. I'm pretty sure I saw a hand Santa hat decoration back there so I could use that. And I even found a blanket <laughs> um, in an old box. Um, but you know what, I really needed this. I was not gonna be able to sleep in that trailer, no way, Jose. Cause you know what, tonight I desperately need to get a good night's sleep because whether I like it or not, Tomorrow is the day that not only do I have to go back to the haunted apartment, but I also have to sleep in it alone, which is awful. And I'm going to tell you more about that tomorrow morning. But as for now, I'm going to take my slightly dusty smelling blanket and get as much sleep as I possibly can. Good night. <laughs> okay, the light's off, but I still don't know where I'm going to sleep in here. <laughs> oh, God. Is anyone home? I even though I know they're not. Okay, no one's here. Good, that's great. That means no one stayed behind. So today, um, all 550 million of my family members uh, that are in town right now for my niece's graduation, they all went to have themselves a lake day, which means that I have the place to myself all day now and I can prepare properly for tonight's absolutely horrible activities. Jesus, Walter, why are you doing that? Staying overnight with Walter would be a horrifying video. Oh God, it's like he heard me. I'm just kidding, Walter. You know that I love you and he's gone. That, all right, bye. That's fine. All right, I need coffee. Let's get coffee and go somewhere cute. God, it does not get more beautiful or more relaxing than this place. I mean, look at it. And I'll tell you what, it's this level of relaxation that's perfect for me before I return to the haunted apartment tonight. And why I need to return to the haunted apartment is... I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it creepy. Okay, we good on the jet skis? Great. So I need to ret Okay. You know what? I'm out of coffee anyways. We're going inside. Rest in peace to that fish, good God. What a way to go. Can you imagine swimming in a river, being uh, taken up by a big pair of claws, going up 500 feet in the air, and then plummeting down to the earth, and then being eaten by an eagle? I can. Sounds kind of sick, actually. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, I don't. Right, sorry, focusing. As I was saying, I need to return to the haunted apartment tonight in order to leave the haunted apartment for good, forever. And based on what I know about spirits and ghosts, I do not think that whatever resides inside of that apartment will be very happy about me neglecting it for so long. Which is why I'm really not looking forward to going back tonight, especially alone. Now, why am I leaving my haunted apartment? After all, I'm absolutely in love with the building, obsessed with it. I love haunted places, the apartment's incredible, I had all these amazing plans for what I was gonna do in there. But at the end of the day, it scares the living shit out of me. But also because I was on a one year lease, and the lease is up. And I chose not to continue renting it for several reasons. And it's eerie, it's almost like the world was trying to keep me away from this place. One of them being is that I have an old Prius that I was gonna drive and keep up there, so I have a car up here in Spokane. The day that I went to drive it up, my Prius died. Rest in peace, Prius. Say hello to the fish. Other reason being is that there's this damn airline, and I'm too mad at them to even speak their name. They announced an incredibly cheap one-way direct flight from Los Angeles to Spokane, which is a miracle for me. That's literally why I got the apartment, or a huge part of it anyways. Because getting to Spokane is very expensive and it takes a very long time, so you have to get on like two or three flights. It sucks. So one week after I signed the one-year lease on this apartment here in Spokane, and I have it now, this airline canceled that flight silently. Didn't even announce it. God, I'm so mad at them. But I am not a pet person and I am not gonna call them out and say their names out loud. Oh, clumsy me. I need a coaster for my coffee. Okay, I can't with this dog. I need to go somewhere else. Sorry, I had to find a room and shut the door. You don't understand what it's like having that dog just leer at you. It's like weirdly powerful and scary. So anyways, I have my logistic reasons for wanting to leave the place, but as I said, it scares me to be there alone, okay? I just wanted to ask you <laughs> if you could please come to the room with me. 
And most of the time that I'd be in there, I would have to be in there alone. I can't sleep in here. I can't do it. <laughs> it's not the vibe, okay? It's not. Like, maybe if it was a gentle haunted, you know? Like a cute little old lady, you know? Who like, oh, I smell cookies. Not like shoving light fixtures and haunting attics. Whoa. And banging on walls and closing doors. You didn't close this? Right now, I cannot open it. Dude, I'm... Dude, did you just move that? No, no, no. What are you talking about? So now the question is, well, if I'm so afraid of it, and if it's so scary, then why am I going back there tonight? Because today is the last day of the month. In 18 hours from right now, I have to turn in the keys, but I'm not saying goodbye to that place until I stay in it for one final night. Now, is there a world where I could just run into that place, grab my beautiful things, be in and out of there in like 10 minutes? Of course there is. <laughs> That's on the table. As wonderful as that sounds, I'm not doing it. Because that apartment and I have unfinished business that I need to take care of tonight. <sighs> Unfinished business that is going to send me not only back into the actual apartment itself, but back into the absolute worst place of that apartment building that I said I never wanted to go to again. I'm not going down there ever again. To a place that is apparently responsible for every horrible experience that any person has ever had in that building. The basement underneath the apartment building. Dude, what? <laughs> but first, and I absolutely hate this too, we need to head to a very specific place right now that might be familiar to you. A place where I might be able to find some supplies because like I said, I came here incredibly unprepared with the clothes on my back and the camera in my hand. I have nothing in terms of exploring a haunted basement. No lights, no defenses, nothing. It's gonna be dark in like an hour and I have about an hour to drive in order to get to this place. Okay, let's go try to find what we can in order to face this apartment building tonight. Oh God. Wish me luck. Let's go. this <laughs> okay oh god it's like I see people in here oh okay so okay hmm yep that is not looking like not up oh camera stop okay for those of you who remember I did a video in here called overnight in a haunted makeup studio and uh, things got real scary in that especially downstairs because <laughs> this place has a really 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 scary basement oh my god what I felt like something just touched me from there what the fuck Dude. and when we finished that video, there was a whole bunch of stuff in the basement and I got so scared doing that video that I said something along the lines of like, oh, I'll just leave this stuff down here. I'll get it later. I'll get this stuff tomorrow. I don't want to go back down there. Not tonight. Well, I never went back for it ever. I know my niece stole some of the stuff that was down there, like my boots and stuff. But right now, since I don't have anything and I don't have time to get anything and since everything is closed, I'm just losing my mind in here. This is, okay, back there is the basement that I need to go into in order to see if I have my ghost hunting necessities down there or at least any that might still be there. I can't do this. Hey, who's ever is maybe in here, please don't do that again right now. Okay, the basement, right. <laughs> Ooh, somehow this room has gotten even scarier. It's just changed a lot. Don't beep on me when you're behind me and you lock. Oh God. Hey, remember when some sort of <laughs> disembodied demon knocked a, my coffee off that table? That coffee what? just fell. That coffee just fell. Are you actually serious? <laughs> that was horrible, remember? <laughs> remember that? <laughs> what the f Dude, right now I'm not losing my mind. I am literally hearing things in that basement. And let's go, let's just go. <laughs> okay, let's just go in real quick and let's just go and we'll see.
Yeah, I need to stop making this needlessly insane and scary. There has to be a life. Okay. So my goal right now, as quickly as possible, I just need to go down into the basement, grab whatever I can to help us at the apartment tonight for my overnight stay there, and then get out. <laughs> this is so bad alone. Let's go, let's go, let's see what's down there. Okay, oh my God, let's see what's down there to help us. I'm really tempted just to say, fuck whatever's down there and just leave, but let's go, because that's what I'm here for, and I'm brave. <laughs> ah. Okay, hurry, Garrett, hurry. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh Jesus. <sighs> okay, sorry, somehow shutting that door makes me feel safer. I can't explain it. Uh, having a d door closed behind my back to this. Oh, makes me feel safer somehow. And what do we have here? That's new. What have we learned that the most horrible thing that can be in a haunted environment is? A mirror! <laughs> so my sister has put the biggest mirror in the world down here. Cause those are apparently portals for demons, yeah! Uh, nope, we are not going back there again. Nope, <laughs> I learned from the last time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the room that we're hoping to find things in is right here, and I'm just gonna get this done, and we're just gonna be done with this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh, the light died. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's the room there. Let me get. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god. God, Will! Oh, okay, um, Will, for those of you who haven't seen that last video, I brought him down here, it was a whole thing, and he's still there. Okay, oh god. Ah, don't fall if I'm in here and I'm scared! Oh, look at that though! Hang on. That was <laughs> freaking eerie. <laughs> okay. Will, <laughs> was that you? <laughs> Did you just throw a flashlight at me? Have you become sentient? Are you possessed? Oh my god. This is no longer fun. Oh my god. Okay, thank god I could just found this. Dude, what? I was joking about that being possessed. Dude, what is- Okay. The moment I joked about it being possessed, it pulled that- Okay. Alright, let's see. Sorry, focus, Garrett. No, no, Mr. Light. <laughs> Sorry, my light. Okay, sorry, camera light is being very strange. Please come back on, stay on, you have a full battery. What was that sound? No, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh I can't, I don't want to point the camera at that because it's scaring me to hell. Oh no, please say there's, okay, alright, do you see that? Do you understand how far away that is from me right now? That's several feet. That's not me that's moving it, that's not anyone, and that is moving. Are you an air vent? Also, why wouldn't those ones right there be moving? This place is horrible. No, that's completely st <laughs> Holy God, I hate this place. Will, <laughs> not now, I hate this place. Things, anything, I'm happy with the flashlight. Yes, 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 yes. This is my favorite headlamp ever, my God, I've missed this. Any old thing that wants to come with us? My God, my favorite bone. Well, I have, this is one of my favorite bones. I have a couple. Favorite bone acquired. Yes, Fortnite holy water gun. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, you got a little juice left in you, baby. I'm good. I suppose the last question would be, do we or do we, you know, not take what the maybe might be possessed Will Smith with us? Or do we leave it in the basement? Oh. Wow, dude. Oh, I don't know. Oh God, I don't know. Oh, come on, Will. Jesus. Maybe there's a good demon in him or something and he can protect me in the, in the apartment. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost just gave up right then on everything, period, everything, period, like everything, <laughs> after seeing me in the frame with Will and the, okay, well, I'm good. Can't carry on, Garrett. Okay, not a bad haul. We got Will, who may or may not be possessed, a holy water gun, flashlight, my favorite bone, and headlamp. Okay, bye again forever, <laughs> studio. Okay, let's go somewhere real chill and calm now. Just really reset the vibe. I can't. I, I did not right now. I need like a. I actually need to reset the vibe. Ow, you! Oh! Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh. You know, before 
Before getting into the living nightmare that is the rest of this video, I figured this is as good of a time as ever to give myself just one minute of sunshine and peace to thank the incredible sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. Because the only thing scarier than my haunted apartment is the cost and the hassle of finding a great therapist. Which by the way, I personally think is incredibly helpful and believe me, I am a big fan of getting help. Like for example, this area here in my house, which is in my living room, was just closed, stacked up for like over a month. <laughs> it was dark. And then I called my mom for help and she came over and we put on 90s country music and we cleaned. It was amazing. Cause getting help when you need it is cool. Now look, I'm not gonna give you my mom's phone number, but I will tell you that BetterHelp is the next best thing. Cause navigating the world can get a little bit tricky, but therapy can give you the tools to feel good when life gets real, real weird. And trust me, it will. But luckily for us, BetterHelp's whole mission is to make therapy affordable and incredibly accessible. And it's a breeze to use. It's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Oh, and by the way, if you don't vibe with your therapist, it's fine, cause it's completely free and very simple to switch. So if you think it could help you out like it's helped me out, then consider online therapy with BetterHelp. I love it, I use it, and I think it's brilliant. And by clicking that link in the description, you can get 10% off your first month. Thanks, BetterHelp. That's betterhelp.com slash Garrett Watts. Okay, I suppose we have a haunted apartment to get to, so back to the nightmare of this video. I actually need to reset the vibe. Like, I need to actually, I'm just at a little gas station stop, okay? A little energy drink moment, a little snack, <laughs> something, maybe some things for the apartment. You know, something more than... <laughs> The Will Smith in, in the trunk. <laughs> okay, honestly, that really helped. And also, something else. Um, imagine uh, that I'm eating a, a lunchable in my haunted apartment. Okay, sorry, back to it. striking is on the stairs right now not me with the full light in my oh my god look at this this is what i'm seeing Of this, Jesus. Uh, let's go to the apartment right there. Jesus, dude, the tracking's going crazy. 
I'm not upset about leaving this place. At all. I don't know if y'all remember, but in the first video that I made about this place, there was like this particular presence of a woman that people say might have passed away right in here. And they say that she's angry. Yep, <laughs> just as horrible as I remember it. Oh god. Oh, Jesus, last time we were in here, that light right there on the TV, something walked in front of it on camera. It was horrible. It just suddenly blacked out as something walked by it. Oh, if that happens again, I can't do this. And there's the light fixture that moved. Please don't move this time, just stay still. Also, why are you on like a haunted house? Jesus, like the, the lighting looks like it was designed by Disney to be scary. What the, did you just hear that knock? Yes, the wooden floors are a little creaky, but that was straight up. The lighting looks like it was designed by Disney to be scary. What the, oh my God. Well, just stay there, buddy. Get to you in a second. Please work. This worked last time. Oh, thank God. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna get situated here for a second. First of all, now that I turned the light on, uh, chair was 1,000% here when I left against the wall like that. You moving things? You wanna make a little sound if you're moving things? Sweet home. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop to catch my breath for a second and then change the battery in the camera. Whew, okay, I got a big light on, which is good. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry if my voice sounds weird. It's just really scary to be in here, especially when you are hearing of footsteps from right there. It feels really horrible in here. It just does. That is part of why I'm back in here right now, is because I have a theory. Now, first of all, let me just show you a little bit, and I mean like a fraction of what I wanted to do to this place. So when I came in here last time, it was to bring in these beautiful things here. So I got this place because I had this idea that I would come here very often, but because of those things that I mentioned earlier with the car, with the Prius and the airlines, it didn't work out. But I had this idea that I would sort of turn this place into this really beautiful, you know, period accurate, like early 1900s place where I would paint it and make it look all period PC and cool. Like I got all these beautiful little antiques and random things, uh, you know, stuff like this. Oh God, and this incredible painting. Isn't she the coolest thing you've ever 
ever seen in your life. I'm so obsessed with this. Oh, <laughs> that's still in my heart and I'm gonna do that somewhere. I just don't think it's gonna be, be in this apartment. Okay. Um, and, uh, and, 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 um, <laughs> sorry, again, just trying to focus, uh, while that's happening. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Face tracking. No. <sighs> Stop. Oh my god. Face tracking. Stop. That. <laughs> I, th that, there is no one there. You see how I'm blurry as hell, completely out of focus? And it's trying to get someone back there? Hello, uh, apartment pal. Uh, if you're back there, could you move so that I could get in focus so I could shoot this video, please? <sighs> I don't, I didn't want you to actually do it. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Um, it's really hard to talk right now. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing. I'm in this uh, apartment, this apartment right now, and in this building because I initially just fell head over heels in love with this building. And I think it's really, really, really cool still, <laughs> despite my sort of odd relationship with it of being terrified by it. Um, but that's actually why I'm in here right now for this final night is first of all to get my beautiful things um, but also because I think I might have messed up. Um, when I first came into this apartment the energy in here felt it's a little spooky. I don't feel like a malicious, evil presence. I just feel like a presence. Like a little occupied, right? But in like a very, very, very gentle way. But I don't think I'm feeling any sort of like, I don't want you in here. It was definitely a spooky energy, but it was like kind of sweet because it just felt like someone was in here. I feel like it was a woman. That's just me. Um, but then things changed a little bit. And this is why I'm back in the apartment is because the energy of the apartment completely shifted after Andrew and I explored the basement, which many people say is the most horrible part of this entire place. It wasn't until we came back up to this apartment that the vibe in here started to feel actually scary. Oh, dude, I feel what? like- What, dude? I just felt like something just walked like through me, man. And dramatic as it sounds, it almost kind of seemed like something from the basement. Dude, literally, what was that? What was that? What was that, like, what the heck was that? What is going on? Oh my God. What is happening? Uh, Something scary might have followed us up here into this apartment if something was just like lost in there and like what are you talking about looking to like come up with someone i'm kind of being serious man dude dude, so dude, dude 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 no because that pay because like i said that is when the energy when we came up from uh, oh that's a really bad time for the face tracking to start to track something behind me please mm, please come back Oh, Jesus, the fact that it's at like the perfect height. Like if someone were standing there, do you know? Oh, oh. okay. Um, I'm just gonna have to manually focus it because, yeah. <laughs> One sec. Anyways, I was saying that very soon this apartment is going to be someone else's apartment. And it feels very, very, very scary in here. And I don't want them to deal with that scary energy because I feel a little bit responsible for it. And I have a little bit of a theory why I could be wrong, but I only have a couple hours to figure this out. Let me show you something. So when Andrew and I were exploring the basement, there's all these um, like lockable, you know, st storage lockers basically. But outside of the storage lockers, there's like a ton of what I can only describe as sort of like just, I don't want to say trash, but like forgotten items, you know, like things that have been down there for decades and decades that aren't locked up, that are just sitting in boxes, photo albums and little trinkets and all sorts of things. And you know me, I adore things. I love my little knickknacks, you know that about me. So when we were 
shooting that video, uh, there was something that I grabbed out of this particular room that we were shooting in. Uh, and it's funny because it's not even in the first video. It was just like while Andrew was, you know, changing a battery or something. Uh, it is just a simple, tiny little bell. I saw this and I picked it up and I, you know, just pocketed it. And I was like, oh, you know, it's basically just like a piece of trash. It's not, it doesn't belong to anyone, right? Um, but I could have been wrong, <laughs> right? No, okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see? Yep. And again, I have shot so many videos on this camera. I just shot a video. I did like a living in my bathroom video. Never had this issue one single time. This exact camera. And the second I brought out the bell, this is, this is it. Uh, uh, I ring it and I hear a horrible sound from the hallway. And, and then this happens, so. Oh God, I wish there was a light in that hallway. So I remember the exact place that I got this bell from and uh, the exact box rather, and I'm gonna put it back and maybe, just maybe, uh, whatever might be attached to this, if that's the case, might just go with it. This bell could have meant the world to someone and maybe I stole it from them, you know? I don't know, it's just a theory. One that kind of seems to check out based on the last two minutes. Yeah, maybe that was someone like validating my theory. Uh, I did this. I brought this bell up. So me alone, I'm gonna fix it. And then hopefully, <laughs> that'll be the end of this apartment having terrifying energy. Now, are we gonna go equipped with what we have <laughs> as defenses? Sure. <laughs> sure we will. <laughs> Let's see what high-level equipment I have to deal with this journey. Headlamp. Holy water pistol. With what I approximate to be at least four squirts of holy water left in it. Um, airheads, but the, I gotta be totally honest, those are just for me. Flashlight, of course. The unicorn popcorn. The, again, that's just for me. This energy drink. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I have a problem. Oh, but enough about that. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have something in this pocket that's actually top secret that's really gonna uh, help us when we replace this. But. That's for later when we get down there, okay? Let me get my gear ready to go. Okay, now those are, now those are fun. And the bell. Oh, also I forgot, I got some pepper spray at the gas station. That's not necessarily for ghosts. This is just for like, well, if there's a serial killer down there, guess what they're gonna get? Um, pepper spray in their eyes. And also if, if Sam or, if Sam and Colby are down there, I'm not saying I'll pepper spray them, but I might give them a little warning spray. You know, just as a little like, stay off my turf, boys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but I do have the pepper spray in case there's a silly like, serial killers down there. Okay, let's go. Basement time. Nope, learn. Oh Not going that direction again. I don't want to turn this corner. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I hate looking down there. Well, this is where we have to go. All right, I got the bell. Let's make this as quick as possible. It's almost all the way to the end where we have to go, and this is where we're going, and I want to throw up, and here it is. Oh no. Oh god. God, I remember what a labyrinth it was, Jesus. Oh, oh boy. This is really, really, really gross without Andrew here. <laughs> okay, it's good, it's good, let's go. I remember the, I'll remember the way. Was it this way? I think it was. Oh. oh. Why is that light scary? Why should a light be scary? Oh. The mirror. Oh, God. Nope. Definitely not. Not the way, not the way, not the way. Oh, God. Back. 
groom's ass. This, this, this should be illegal. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Dude, the Blair Witch Project is shaking. Look at that. What is that? Is that meant to keep evil in? I just try to make it really weird. Did the bell do that? <laughs> Did the bell write that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, it's just... Oh, oh Jesus. This way. Oh God, I forgot about that thing that looks like a full human. Okay, I know I'm here to return something, but like, where is the Spider-Man corset? You know what I mean? <laughs> Andrew, a oh, Spider-Man oh, corset. Put that down. Why would I put this down? Ew. Like, come on, there's not an evil energy attached to the Spider-Man corset. Like, I could have that, right? <laughs> oh, okay, all right, you spoke. I'm sorry, I can't film this very gracefully because Andrew's not here and I'm not good at, I'm not a film with Steven Spielberg, okay? Sorry. But right here is the room where the bell came from. So I, see, so hear that? Uh, basement buddy, dweller? We're friends, we're cool. Don't decapitate me off my bra off my head, on my off my neck right now, please. Because <laughs> I am just gonna take this bell, which is making a weird amount of sounds for really not moving that much, and I am just gonna put it right back to where I found it. The bell came right here from this box. Right about, right at the bottom. Okay. Right at the bottom. Okay. The chopsticks are perfectly good. <laughs> I can't just have one of these, please. Can someone just do a sound to give me permission? Okay. <laughs> no one's gonna be mad if I take these chopsticks. <laughs> oh. God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm putting the chopsticks back in the box too. No more problems. No more problems. Okay. Jesus. Okay. This is my special treat. Okay. This is what I'm here to do. Mr. Bell owner, offerings and specifically food offerings of any kind are a huge deal in terms of making peace with ghosts. So Mr. Bell owner, if you're down here, I just want to tell you that last night I ordered a 20 piece chicken nuggets and I saved one for you. Okay, so, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a sound of, that's real. And I think that's, I hope you it's a sound of approval and you like it. So I am just gonna set that right Ah, I'm just gonna set that right there for you and I'm sorry that there's no tangy barbecue sauce. I ate it all, okay? Okay, and no moans. That's pretty good. Oh, oh. yep, that's quite a sound. Okay, bye, bye, thank you so much. Please stay right there if you're there. <coughs> bye, back rooms. I'm gonna run into a demon, I just know it. Okay. <gasps> Goodbye, basement. Okay. We're good. Oh, Jesus. You know, maybe it's the lack of quality sleep, okay? Maybe it's my whimsy, but the apartment does feel nicer now. I'm in the scariest room in it and I feel okay. I think the bell might have done something and I made a great sacrifice here today. I only had 19 of my 20 piece chicken nuggets to try to look out for the next person in this apartment. I, I might be a hero. <laughs> I just, it, it just decapitated. <laughs> the ghost is like, no, nah, I can't with you. Even the chill ones, like, you gotta go. <laughs> All right, I just got a little bit nervous. Um, no, I'm okay, I'm good. Um, but you know what? I feel disgusting right now. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a shower in this apartment. Oh wait, but you know what I just thought of? Hang on. Okay, yeah, what I just did was literally like very important. I just took a little precaution to make sure that if there's any other spooky or, or scary uh, evil spirits that want to come up from the basement and come into this apartment, now they won't be able to. Good luck, but good luck, buddies. This place feels nice now, and I, I always wanted a chance to shower in the bathroom. Although I will admit that I, I did, I did kind of forget that Andrew and I figured out that there, there's, there might be a demon up there. But I've, 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 I've done enough work today. Okay, I've, I've really put in the work. 
gave up the chicken nugget, remember? Shower time! <laughs> Oh, sure, I'll just go ahead and lock it as a precaution. It's not that I think there's still, like, evil energy in here. I just, you know, I'm just liking it as a- There could be robbers, you know? I'm confident the bell thing worked, okay? It's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounded like a knock at the door. <laughs> it's okay, though, because the bell thing worked. Shower time! <laughs> you know what? Despite my efforts, this is still, like, very easily the scariest shower I've ever taken. <laughs> Terrible water pressure, too. Okay, I'm sorry. It just is. All right. You know, is it even really showering if um you put on the shirt afterwards that's still slopping wet from your own basement sweat? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, the sun is pretty much up, but I am not done with this place yet because I am exhausted and I'm still gonna shut myself in the room and sleep for as long as I can. I'm just gonna just, just get a couple hours of normal sleep in this in this room. See? It's just a normal bed, okay? I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? Look, I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> That's the, okay. There's the little knock sound. I'm sure it's just a good spirit letting me know that you're okay to go to bed and let your guard down in here. That's what Will Smith is at the door. We're fine, okay. Bedtime. Just look under the bed, make sure there's no full-grown entities under there. <laughs> All right, let's get under the covers and good night. Oh. Yep, still feels very scary in here, but that's fine. Just a couple. Just get, like, what, a nap in here to say that I slept in here overnight, and that's... Oh, okay, yep, yep, that's moving. <laughs> We're just gonna, you know what? <laughs> it's that. I did it. I laid in the bed. We're good. We're just gonna go ahead and get the and get the and cut and cut and let it and let this apartment be someone else's apartment now. But you know what? Maybe it was in my brain. I'm gonna take another peek. I'm tripping because I haven't slept in a bit. Me just. Yep. <laughs> that's that's moving. That's moving on its own, and I'm getting out of here. Okay, thanks so much, apartment. Gonna grab my stuff and and good luck with the next owner. Okay, time to go. And you know, it was in that exact moment that I thought to myself, should you have a lovely sentimental moment with this place? I mean, you had it for over a year. It was part of your life, after all, part of your journey. You slept in here, like, once, watched 27 dresses and ate pizza with your best friend, Andrew, explored its hellish caverns, but then I realized, no. Because at the end of the day, I saw things moving in here on their own. I saw literal demons walking in this place, heard disembodied voices and footsteps, and then it dawned on me. <laughs> I suppose at the end of the day, all this place really did was steal over $12,000 of my own money and scare the shit out of me constantly. So instead of having a nice sentimental moment, I just said, good luck. God, I've ended actual relationships worse than that, if you can believe it. <sighs> well, <coughs> time to go. <laughs> Right back to where I started. Right where I fell in love with this place for the first time many, many, many years ago. Man, oh man. Okay, I should probably tell my family like where I am. <laughs> they think I'm dead probably. Or, <laughs> plot twist, they're not thinking of me at all. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not the case. <laughs> I just start crying. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not the case. Um, let's go! Okay, bye haunted apartment, love you. Oh God, this is so nice. The exact opposite of everything I was just in. Sunshine, nature, this is, this is good. Well, that's the story of my time owning a haunted property. A one year saga. Hey, by the way, don't let me do that again. Cause I now realize that I feel the same way about haunted properties that I do animals or children. I love other people's those things, but I don't necessarily need to own one of my own, you know? I'll just see other people's and go hello and then leave. That's where it's at for me. <laughs> don't do that again, Garrett. Big, not great, don't, don't, Recommend. And that video was shot over a month ago. And so that apartment is well rented out by this point. And to the new tenants of that place, I will say both, I'm sorry, because I might have made the haunting significantly worse. And also, I'll say good luck, okay? But you know, I hope in the end that I did the place some good. My bell theory might have checked out, okay? I don't know for sure. Kind of didn't seem like it near the end, but I'm not going to think about that. Who's to say what explains the paranormal aspects of that video? I'm just a guy fooling around. I'm no paranormal expert, okay? Maybe there's like an, a shit 
janky air conditioner unit above the chandelier that had it moving both times. There could be a raccoon problem up there running around, scuttling around, bumping into the hardware, okay? As for the camera stuff, well, I don't really know how to work a camera. I'm not a filmographer like Andrew. That could just be a dummy not knowing how things work, all right? I put it on automatic mode and I hope for the best. Maybe it was just a guy scared out of his mind in a haunted environment, but no, it's very haunted. Okay, that's just the way that it is. And as much as I adored my three times being in that apartment, I am glad that it is part of my past now. I took the items I wanted to out of there. I had to leave a couple like larger things in there that I had taken in, but so what? You know what? I've just given them to the apartment now. I left it for the next person and they can do what they want with it. They can venture down into the storage unit and finally find it, which I never even saw, by the way. They can put it in there. I don't know. I've, I've respectfully said just good goodbye to the place. And once I got out of the apartment, the rest of the trip was a dream. I hung out with a duck and also attended my niece's graduation. It was very cute and wholesome. Walter remained being scary. I kayaked. I hung out with family. It was terrific. And as for my dashed dreams of recreating a historical 1900s environment to thrive in, oh, you know me. I'll always find a place to decorate. I'll figure it out someday. It just won't be in an environment that's trying to scare me constantly. I think that'll be better for my brain health. Oh, and speaking of brain health, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Again, there's my URL if y'all want to check it out. I think it's terrific. BetterHelp.com slash Garrett Watts for 10% off your first month. They're wonderful. Oh, and by the way, side note, for those of you who copped some of my merch, thank you so much. That went astronomically well. Thank you so much. I'm always amazed that y'all want to support my shenanigans and thank you and uh, and 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 I, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, deeply appreciate it. So uh, thank you and more fun things uh, coming on down the pipeline. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Speaking of staying tuned to my clownery, to my nonsense, you can always find me on every social media platform that exists right here at Garrett underscore Watts. Also check out Garrett Unhinged if you want. It's a silly little side channel I have. If you want to poke around there, go poke around there. And you know me, I always love asking y'all a question. I respond to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. It's my favorite thing to do. So my question for you is what is the most haunted place that you've ever lived in? That's a really weird specific thing to actually not just visit, but to live in a haunted environment. Was there ever an environment that you lived in that you can understand what was going on in my brain? You didn't even want to be alone in there. And maybe you didn't live in it. Maybe it was just, you know, your grandma's basement or something. That's a popular haunted one for some reason. Grandma's basements are always the most haunted. Why? But yeah, you know, something in your family, a house in your family, a cabin you would visit, or perhaps you actually live there. What is the most unsettling environment that you have ever had a personal connection to and maybe had to stay there long term? I want to know because I need a little bit of like, I need someone to understand how absolutely unsettling that was. So please talk to me about that in the comments and I'm going to respond to an ungodly amount of comments because I love doing that. I'm just waiting for you right there in the comments. If you're ever wondering what's Garrett doing, just talking to people in the comments and having a, some snack, cheese flavored snacks most of the time. So, you know, in closing, I guess my only advice would be before you rent a place or sign a lease on it, maybe just have like a psychic friend in there just to be like, this place is a huge problem when it comes to being severely haunted. You might not want to lay your head down for sleep in here every single night. And that's the best advice I got. That's all I got. Guys, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching the things that I make here on this channel. I love doing this. I can't believe I get to do this for a living. Thank you. I love you. Y'all are the best. Mind your manners. Drink your water. Don't live in haunted places. Uh, it's very unsettling. Bye. Let me see you. <laughs>